Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. Thank you for being here and staying with me this morning on the Valder Beebe Show. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to change directions. I'm going with Dr. Ben Hoffman now. He's here. He wants to... Uh, Tell us about people at home due to the pandemic. It's more important than ever to try childproof our homes while we're at home. Dr. Hoffman, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, you're with the American Academy of Pediatrics, so I know children are your main focus. So tell us what's happening and how we help to keep our families safe during these unusual times. Yeah, so with everybody being stuck at home with the pandemic, all, anything around the house that would have normally posed a threat and a risk to a child is going to pose a much bigger threat because it's there constantly because we're stuck at home. And parents, as good as they are about providing supervision for kids, can't be perfect. We know that kids, especially younger kids, are just built to explore. They're all over the place. They're curious, and they're going to get into stuff. One of the things that we've seen as a result of the pandemic is a significant increase in the number of ingestions in lithium coin batteries, which are those batteries that are about the size of a nickel, really common in devices around the home, things like remote controls and thermometers and key fobs, all sorts of stuff. The, the particular problem with these batteries is that they're big enough that if a child puts them in their mouth, the kids will often do because that's how they explore the world, and swallow it, the battery will get stuck in their esophagus or food tube. Um, it starts discharging electricity that's stored with inside of it, and it can lead to a really significant burn in a period of as short as a couple of hours. And those burns can lead to, to permanent disability and sometimes, sadly, even death. So it's really important to make sure that kids can't get to those batteries. Let me ask you, if they do happen to get a hold to it and swallow it, will we know it? Will there be an immediate response that we can respond to that, take them to the hospital or something, or is this something that's kind of silent. Yeah, so sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's witnessed, sometimes a child will cough or gag, but unfortunately, it, it's not uncommon that there will be really no symptoms. Um, and so having a high, a high index of suspicion and, and um, being very aware is really important. If a parent does have any concern that a child may have swallowed a battery, they need to go to the nearest emergency room as soon as possible. Um, because the symptoms can be really subtle and the damage can, can be significant and quick, you want to get there as quickly as possible so that doctors can start to do an assessment. You said again, I'd like you to repeat if you could, where these coin batteries are, uh, what they are powering so we can be reminded of them. So where do we find them? Yeah, so they're all over the place. In key fobs that you might have for your car, They'll be in things like greeting cards that sing songs. They're in Christmas ornaments. They're in bathroom scales, thermometers, toys, all over the place. So it's really important that in those devices, that the, the compartments that store those batteries are sealed. Many of those compartments will have a screw. And so you want to make sure those screws are tight. Um, for, the, for compartments that don't have a screw, make sure that they're sealed and you can do things like put tape around it. Um, and then for the batteries that you might have in a drawer or stored someplace at home, store those someplace where, you, where you're certain kids aren't going to be able to find them high enough out of the way or even better in a locked container. These batteries are everywhere. Should we also, uh, when parents, especially when they have their first child, we're more aware, we're more on guard. We childproof our homes. We go in and we put the plugs. We get the right kind of plugs. We move uh, sharp objects. Should we do this as parents since we're thinking of working at home long term or the kids are going to be home longer? Should we go in and do a, like a, an assessment of childproofing and include batteries? Absolutely. I mean, I think it's a good idea for every parent to think about that childproofing stuff early and often. And, you know, if you have more than one kid, you can't assume that what worked for the first kid is going to work for the second one or third because they're all different. Um, the batteries especially pose a significant risk. And that's one reason we're really happy that Duracell and the American Academy of Pediatrics are teaming up to help get this information out to families. Um, if, if people do want more information, uh, there's stuff on the American Academy of Pediatrics family website, which is healthychildren.org. And there's great information on the Duracell website at duracell.com as well. Dr. Benjamin Hoffman, you have been a lifesaver. This information I know will save someone's life. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. That's a pleasure. Thanks for getting this information out there and stay safe, everybody. Hi, I'm Valder BB. 
I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.